Pats. Yeah, so I'm back to the beautiful, calm, lovely city of Port Harcourt. So in this video, we're going to be driving around the city. I'm going to be showing you what Port Harcourt city looks like. Port Harcourt is actually in River State, the south-south region of Nigeria. Yes, so welcome everyone to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, like this video, and turn on your notification button. So anytime I post, nice videos you'll be amongst the first to see it so for those who have been following my nigerian series yeah i have been posting back to back around my trip in nigeria now i'm in the city of port harcourt so for those who have been following i've talked a lot about how i started living in this city 2006 and left 2020 but within 2020 and 2023 i've been coming you know to visit and to do a couple of things so this time i came to quickly do something and run out but i'm like how will i come to this beautiful nigerian city and i'm not going to show my viewers what the city looks like and if i tell you the city is really beautiful calm and lovely i just agree with me that it is now a lot of nigerians actually do not live in the city because we just have about 5 million people living here for nigeria a population of over 200 million as is estimated right now and we have just 5 million of course that is what they tell us but we know that most times these things are more than as is said you know so let's talk about this beautiful city the last administration actually did a very beautiful job putting this city back on the map if you've lived in port harcourt port harcourt is actually called the garden city of nigeria after a while that garden city was not garden anymore you know when you see garden city where is the garden we are not seeing anything about the garden city of port harcourt but kudos to the last administration who did their best to actually put you know to touch up and make the city look very beautiful so in terms of road infrastructure this is one of the best cities in nigeria in that aspect when it comes to roads like you can drive from one end of the city to another and you're not going to see any portal now preference wise i prefer the city compared to lagos like i was in lagos for a couple of days and i must tell you i still see lagos as a very stressful place probably because of the population the more the government is working on infrastructure the population is just subduing like the population suppresses whatever development the you know government does there but kudos to the lagos state government now for the train you know uh, initiative the transportation initiative of which i have videos on it on my channel if you've not watched please do well to watch it too yes i have another video of my transportation through the train from lagos to ibadan So are you enjoying the ride around the city please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed so let's talk briefly about what to expect in the city of port harcourt so for those who don't know or if you're watching me for the first time like i said i've lived here for a couple of years before i relocated let's talk about rent we never believe that rent in port harcourt is actually cheaper than what we have in lagos when i came to this city newly a lot of things were expensive for me because i was coming from lagos everything just looked expensive i went to tell them oh they say oil city oil city guys right now lagos is actually more expensive than port harcourt yes lagos is more expensive than port harcourt right now so let's start from rent now for a self-contained what we call a self-contained here in nigeria you know we have you can get something as low as 300 400 still in this city but in lagos especially on the island you can't get anything close to that it's not even possible like a self-contained 300 000. how in lagos right now except you're living in some kind of places and i don't want to mention places like that you know but in portacot here in still places you have good access to road good access to electricity and so on you can get something as low as 300 400 000. 
for a one bedroom you can get maybe 500 600 700 thousand depending on your preference and depending on the kind of house yes that's another thing i need to say the kind of house there are places you get here new houses and the rents are still very very okay but new house <laughs> in lagos you know now you're calling you're thinking about million million if you understand what i'm saying for two bedroom you can get two bedroom from like eight hundred thousand to maybe 1.2 million yes yeah like i said depending on the location some can even be less than the range i'm giving you right now for three bedroom you can still get within the same one million and in some places i can tell you for a fact some places are not up to that that's the truth so depending on your budget you can comfortably live here and still do well like somebody who is in lagos but i sometimes i ask question why does everybody want to stay in lagos once everybody actually stay in lagos <laughs> because hmm if i'm to calculate the population of people in lagos there are over 30 million people honestly but when you check your statistics online they don't give you up to that but when you see the number of people coming out each day the traffic guys i spent hours in traffic that <laughs> i slept on the road like i was still in traffic and people were returning home to from work and they're going to come out as early as 4 a.m again the next morning you know and i'm seeing a city that in 15 minutes i can move around in anywhere there's really no traffic and also sometimes i just wonder why is it that a lot of negotiations just love Lagos like that maybe somebody should reply in the comment section can you people just explain to me why you like Lagos like that is it because of the opportunities or whatever but i always believe that if you're a business person you can actually put your business anywhere you know everything is basically online today but my Lagos people they will not hear even for Abuja Abuja is there a lot of Nigerians still prefer to stay in Lagos well please can you explain to me in the comment section why it is like that now let's talk about schools even in terms of schools or in terms of, in terms of education i think it's still cheaper in port harcourt because my two children were schooling here before we left and i can say the kind of school fees are here in lagos right now i am just thinking what is going on now here you have the public schools which are well funded and are very very okay in nigeria a lot of people feel like education this this that no the public schools in some states are actually still very good and river state is one of it where a lot of children still go to public schools and they are doing very fine then we have the private which are also moderate very very moderate you can get school fees from like 60 70 80 thousand and they are very 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 good yes private schools 150 of course when it comes to education it depends on what you want it depends on your pocket in fact everything i'm going to be listing depends on your pocket yes now could you believe that this is a bus station this is where we call my one in butter court and it is this free <laughs> tell me this is a very popular a bus station in Port Harcourt and it's called my one so you can drive through without traffic maybe in the evening you can have just little traffic you know but it's not the very thick traffic that you have to stay 30 minutes 40 minutes you know here trying to <laughs> so I branch at the what's it called the office the immigration's office here to do a thing or two I was done and I came out to continue vlogging yes guys so we're talking about the education educational system in port harcourt or in river state i would say it's actually okay schools are very very moderate if you want very expensive schools you will get them but for a maybe medium income earner you can actually get good schools that can compete very well with the ones you have in lagos or other parts of nigeria yes but if you're talking about maybe just somebody who has we have two kids three kids you can get good schools of 120, 140, 200,000. Like I said, depending on your pocket. The next thing I would like to talk about is electricity. I must say, electricity system in River State or in Port Harcourt is relatively okay. Yes, but depending on where you live, there are areas who use the federal light. There's something we call federal light here. We'll have constant light. Maybe in a day, 24 hours a day, they can get like 
23 and a half or let's say 23 and there are places you can stay you get up to 18 hours there are places you can get up to 20 hours doesn't mean that the 20 hours is straight 20 hours you understand what i mean you could actually you can have light out five ten minutes it's back again and all that and all that so depending on the area of course when you are coming to leave you choose these things for yourself you actually survey the environment ask questions before you pay for any year if you understand what i mean so let's talk about transportation so we understand that this new administration went off with the subsidy thing and transportation has been quite expensive now i haven't stayed in lagos for a couple of days before coming here i will tell you that port Harcourt is still cheap when i did a video sometime sometime ago comparing these things i told you that transportation is cheap in port Harcourt, and even till now it's still cheaper than lagos yes transportation transportation in Port is cheaper than what we have in Lagos so I don't know is that helping anybody if it's helping you please like this video and drop comments if you have questions to ask you can actually ask there are people I believe who understand and also reason or are of the same opinion with me who might likely reply you or if I see your comments on time I will also reply your comment now let's talk about business this state is actually more business entrepreneur centered yes it's actually an oil city there are a lot of oil companies here there are a lot of oil company workers here but outside that a lot of companies are actually based in the southwest that we have in the south south yes everybody i can agree so maybe that's why my lagos people will prefer to still remain in lagos and come to put court but if you're a business person you can actually do well here like i said everything is actually centered online today depending on how good you can use social media and all but you can actually live here live a very peaceful life because you see that hustle and bustle it's not like it's bad but when it's too much sometimes ah uh, your life expectancy rate is dropping if you know what i mean i'm saying that i'm not saying that that is exactly what is happening but constant stress on the body is really not too good so i would comfortably prefer to stay here in this beautiful city meet and stay in a place where i mm -hmm. so guys what do you think about these things i listed the rent the school electricity business transportation and all some want to ask about the social life here well i'm not really a social person but we actually have a lot of places so maybe you can actually do your own research around that but they have a recreational center which we i showed in this video which is the pleasure park and a lot of restaurants a lot of fast food and places you can actually hang out here in the city can you see how beautiful it is like you can drive from one end to the other and you are just moving no traffic no stress everywhere is looking so beautiful neat guys i have to stress on that neat neat doesn't mean other states or other cities in nigeria are not like this but i can talk more about the places i've been to lagos is also a very beautiful place if it wants to be beautiful the only issue with lagos is the population as much as the government is trying their best to keep the city sane and all that the fact that we have a lot of people to deal with is something that imagine half of the population in lagos actually you know decentralized and moved to other states in nigeria lagos will actually be cool you know the traffic guys i said i've been on traffic before 12 midnight i got to my house 2 a.m in the morning i didn't believe my eyes because i've never experienced such before in my life <laughs> I have never and it was raining season you know what raining season can be like so i didn't really enjoy that i felt like no lagos why would lagos do this to me you know but guys what do you think about port Harcourt? have you been to this city before or you're like uh -uh, lagos we 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 let me not use the word you know but you know what i want to talk about we remain here this is where of course i won't blame anybody who chooses to stay in lagos but I believe that every other state in nigeria can also give you that same thing you want to get in lagos i believe you can create your heaven you can create that lifestyle you want anywhere in lagos now on this bridge 
the last time I came to Port Harcourt, they had not commissioned this bridge. So when I was passing, I really I couldn't even recognize anywhere again. I was like, wow, wow. Now for those who don't know, all the places you're seeing me pass are different places. There's no one I'm showing you twice. It's because some places are gonna look very similar, but it's not. This is Ada George. I went through Eliozu Road. I went through GRA, the old GRA. I went through Ada George. Now this is actually Ada George. Now I'm heading towards NTA Road. And all these places are looking so, so fine. So guys, what do you think about the city? Now, also when I came here the last time, here is called Location Junction. I really didn't believe. It was looking like GRA Junction when I got here. I was like, ah, this place looks so much like GRA Junction. But it is not. This is location junction if you know port harcourt very very well so with this video what do you think do you intend coming into the city or port harcourt to, to actually leave or you just want to come and enjoy yourself trust me if you come here you are going to feel very very calm like you're going to enjoy the calm everywhere is just so calm there's no the, the stress the bad bows and all of that in Lagos is not really here like that there was a time it was actually getting here but right now everywhere is calm so guys let's go and do what potakot is known for which is the potakot bole where we are right now is called mommy b road in potakot so it's something called potakot bole that's roasted plantain in ghana we also have it they eat it with granite just like they do in lagos but in river state potakot to be precise they don't eat it like that eat it with the fish with the leaves you can do roasted potato roasted yam with it another food potato people are known for is fisherman soup i didn't have all the time to do all of that but maybe next time when i come i'm going to show you what fisherman soup looks like fisherman soup with pounded yam guys if you have anywhere you can get this thing i just mentioned anyway but it's just that is you get it better when you come to river state or you come to potakot so if you intend coming to potakot anytime please try it fisherman soup or this bole so we are heading to stadium this is already stadium road we are heading to elekaya where you will get the best plantain and bole plantain either roasted plantain or bole in River State, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Which of the fish? Okay, so what about fish? You don't want fish? Which one do you want? so guys i'm back home it's time to eat my good food look at it here they had it packaged for me so the fish is about 2005 the plantain is about 15 1015 depending on what you want if you want potato potato is about 400 naira yes it's quite pricey but you get the best you get good quality plantain and fish we have cheaper ones actually within the city but i decided to go to this particular place because that's where you get the best actually and of course if you're going for the best the best is always expensive so let me show you what my plantain and fish looks like so oh my 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 look at what it looks like i brought out malt from the fridge i'm gonna be eating this wheat guys this is the best the best ever if you come to potacos and you don't eat potaco bole like your visit is not complete actually it is not potaco bole 
or fisherman soup these two things actually makes potako very very special so there you have it guys guys so i'll start eating and hmm. I have my plantain, I have the plantain, and I have potato. Oh, everything here is actually expensive, just like I said, but... Mmm. 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 Mm. Right. This is rich. Very rich. Very, very rich. The neighbor's way is to eat it with granite, but here we eat it like this. But let me not even talk. Let me not talk because I'm eating very spicy food. So, this is one of Potako's signature. Mm. Alright.